Hey, Mike here, back with another video on World of Solocraft. So I've been away for a few weeks, just went on a quick road trip with my father-in-law, but here I am back to talk about World of Solocraft again. Now, just a quick recap, what is World of Solocraft? Well, I love World of Warcraft. I love the MMO aspect of it. I love playing with other people. I love dungeons. I love raids. I think it's all, it, I just think it's so cool. It's such an awesome world. It's such great content, but I did often think to myself, man, this would be so cool if you could just play this on your own. What happens if you could access all of that end dungeon stuff and all of that stuff that's in the raids on your own without having to even go through those raids? What if there were other ways of doing it that were equally as hard and equally as complex, but just you could just take your time with? And then I thought, well, quests do that, right? A quest chain will do that. If you've got a really large, long quest chain with an awesome weapon or shield or item at the end of it, that would be so much cooler, in my opinion, anyway. I've got no problem with raids and dungeons. I think they're fun. I'm crap at it. I'm really, really crap at it. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, but I think it'd be really cool to have daily quests and weekly quests and other cool narratives, as well as a lot more open world content, like hunting down creatures and finding things in the world in order to find this awesome equipment. And maybe even, maybe that's where Season of Discovery, may, I wonder if Season of Discovery s stole my idea of more open world content. Huh. I don't think I'll be calling my lawyer anytime soon, so maybe not. Yeah, that's what I thought would be a really, really cool idea. So I cracked open Azeroth Core, I got into it and I started adding more content and then I quickly hit a wall. And that wall was quite simply, boy, there is a lot of sequel to get through. <laughs> like a lot of sequel, like it is crazy how much sequel is required just to add something as simple as a quest and a couple of NPCs to the world. Now, it's not even so much that there's a lot of it in terms of thousands of lines. It's just that the tables you use in order to add these things are very wide. They have a lot of columns and that means that it's very error prone and you've got these huge SQL statements. Now you don't have to provide a value for every column because they have default columns, but you still got to sort of understand what's actually happening, right? You've got to understand what those columns do. And so it becomes very easy to overthink it, write a lot of SQL and get columns wrong. And then it's not quite right. And then you've got to find it again. And then when you copy paste it, there's IDs, things you've got to get slightly different. And it just becomes very convoluted and very complex really, really quickly, especially when you want to add like 12 NPCs and 50 quests it becomes really, really convoluted. So I thought to myself, okay, well, we know what the database looks like. We know what the tables look like. We know what the columns are. We know what the column types, the column names. What if I wrote a tool in Python that can extract the structure of those tables, give me a SQL template, and then the same tool can then take a YAML document, read it in, and then use those SQL templates to generate actual SQL that can be injected into the database. And that is exactly what I've done. <laughs> And that tool is called Daisy. And Daisy is designed to extract out and generate those SQL templates. And then it reads in YAML files, which I put into what I call packs. I won't go into detail on that. Go and check out the repository. There's some information in there on what they're about. But she will effectively take the YAML, generate valid SQL, which I can then inject into my database. I can restart my world server and everything that I've created in the YAML, which became the SQL, goes live and the world becomes, well, becomes more alive, actually. So I found this to be a just a great way of adding content en masse really, really quickly. And I'm even working towards using ChatGPT to generate not daily quests with the little blue, the little blue icon above the NPC, not that specific daily quest, but generate daily content such as a notice board, right? You put a notice board in, it has a quest on it, you go to it and it's like, oh, please go and help us get rid of these bandits that have appeared. It can generate, we can get AI to do that for us. We can get AI to generate a hundred quests. There's so much you can do if you enable the ability to write something like YAML and then you convert it to SQL and then you inject it into your database. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, what about Kira 3? Well, the problem is, is Kira 3 is a UI. It's a UI and it's very, very slow and clunky to use. It's not a bad tool. It's just not good for this kind of thing. Now I'm a DevOps engineer. So what I like is I like being lazy. So therefore I like programming things and I like it being even lazier again. So I like automating those things. And so if I can write some YAML and then have all the rest of the work done for me, I'm gonna take Kira, I'm gonna put them to the side and I'm gonna write a tool that can just work with YAML to give me a SQL, to give me end results and that is exactly what I've done. So this video is not going to be a long one. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go into the description and it's going to be a link to the repository. I want you to go check it out. It's going to be the repository for Daisy and there's going to be a link to my Discord server. I want you to join
join it and I want you to come and have a chat with me about this because I need help with features and I need, even if it's just input, even if it's just ideas, and then together we can create a tool that makes it super easy to create this really dynamic world. I'm really excited by this. I think it's gonna be really, really cool. I hope that you're excited for it too. And that's it, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video or maybe on the Discord server. Yes, please join the Discord server.